In this video, we will show you how to replace your spark plug wires on this Ford Ranger with a 2.3 liter engine. These will be located along the top of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we'll want to do is use some compressed air along the top of the engine. The area where the spark plug wires go onto is the area that we're focusing. Now that we have this area cleaned down, the next thing we'll do is talk about the spark plug wires. This is a four cylinder engine. The cylinders go one, two, three, and four as you make your way rearward. Looking at the ignition coil, you're going to find that you have four spark plug wires. Each one of these wires goes to a specific spot, so you want to ensure that they go in that order when you go to reinstall them. With that said, we'll start with cylinder one, which is the front cylinder. We'll carefully reach down in here, take hold of the spark plug wire, give it a little wiggle, and lift it straight up and off. There we are. Every time you remove one of these, just give it a quick inspection. If you see any corrosion, that could potentially be an issue, and you definitely want to take a peek at the spark plug, which would be located down in the hole there. This one looks fine. Let's continue following that wire to the ignition coil. Just give that a little twist and we can lift that straight up and off as well. At this point, you should be able to remove that wire. Now that we have this one out of there, we'll continue on with cleaning and inspecting the mounting areas. Just have a look right inside that port, double checking for corrosion. Down in here, that looks good as well. All right, now let's go ahead and take hold of our brand new ignition wires. You'll find that two of them are longer than the other two. The two that are the shortest are the two that are closest to the ignition coil, the center two cylinders. The two longer ones would be for the forward and the rearward cylinder. The next thing we'll do is continue on with dielectric grease along each one of these ports. You don't need very much, just enough to lubricate the area. Now we can take this and put this in position. Take that spark plug wire, bring it down through there. Let's plug this into the ignition coil. Press it on there as far as you can, give it a wiggle, make sure it's secure. We'll continue on along the spark plug side. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a little tug to make sure that's secure as well. It's extremely important to make sure you have a good seal so no moisture or debris makes its way into this area. Now that we've done one spark plug wire, do the exact same thing to the other three.
At this point, you just want to double check each one of your connections up along the ignition coil and down along where the wires connect onto the spark plugs on the valve cover. After that, hop inside the passenger compartment, start up your vehicle, let it run for a little while. Make sure you have no running condition and no check engine light. After that, you can go ahead and close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.